everybody. Okay, how are you today? Yeah, I'm fine too, thank you. I'm glad that all of you are fine. Uh, let me check your attendance first. Carol? Hannah? Sharon? Tristan? Dina? Dina? Is there anybody know? Where is Dina? Oh, she's sick. Um, I hope she'll get well soon. Thank you for telling me, Carol. Okay, before we start our lesson today, let's pray together, shall we? Amen. So, uh, everybody, I would like to ask you, um, what did you have for today's breakfast? Fried rice? All right, nice. What else? Okay, Indomie. Did you make Indomie by yourself, Carol? Okay, then what did you need to make a instant noodle? Okay, the noodle, water for boil, egg for the topping. What else? Seasoning. What is seasoning? Bumbu. All right. Then how can you make an Indomie? Okay, by reading the steps. Where did you find the steps? In the back of the sachet. All right. Then do you know what kind of text the instruction is? No? Uh, what kind of idea that you get when you're reading it? It's telling you about how to make an instant noodle. What else? Okay, tata cara on how to make an instant noodle. So everybody, tata cara in English, it's called procedure text. So the text that you read in the back of the sachet, the instruction that you read at the back of the sachet, it's called a procedure text. Okay, procedure text all together, everybody. All right, so today we will learn about procedure text. Now, uh, before we go further and learn about procedure text, I will play a video. So please watch it carefully because I will uh, ask some of questions regarding the video. All right. Are you ready? Okay. On a hot summer day, refresh yourself with a delicious homemade iced tea or sweet tea. Bring water to a simmer. If you want sweet tea, it's a good idea to add your sweetener now to be sure it completely dissolves. I'm using stevia, but anything will work. Add lemon slices to a pitcher. Then, add simmering water that's sweetened if desired to the pitcher with the lemons. Now for the tea. You'll want your tea to be double strength so it's strong enough to combat the melting ice in your glass. I'm using family size tea bags, but regular size will work fine. You'll just need more. Add tea bags. Stir to combine and steep 5 to 10 minutes. Remove tea bags and refrigerate until cool. Serve over ice. Hey everyone, what do you think about the video? Okay, it looks tasty. What else? Oh, you become thirsty after watching it? It's expected. Me too. Okay, so after you watch the video, uh, what kind of idea that you get there? Okay, it's a video that's telling you on how to make an ice lemon tea. Very good. What did you need to make an ice lemon tea? Okay, lemon ice cubes what else tea okay very good now uh let's see the slide okay everyone please uh read the top of the uh slide together okay glass okay lemon ice cubes hot water hot water okay next all together, please. Okay. Boil the water. Mm -hmm. Brew. All right. Very good. So, after you watch the video, reading the steps, and also read the ingredients, um, what is procedure tax in your opinion? Yes, Sharon? Okay, great. It's a text that explains on how to make something. But remember everybody, procedure it's mean it means 
tata cara. So, it's not always about making something or about a simple recipe. Procedure text, it can be from of others, okay? For example, when you buy a new phone and you'll find a little book there. What kind of book is that? Yes, Tristan, very good. Manual book. So, manual, it's also a kind of procedure text, okay? Don't forget about that. So, procedure text is a text that explains how something works or how to use instruction or operation manuals in order. Order is brurutan, okay? Then, everybody, what do you think about the purpose of procedure text? Okay, Sharon? Yes, the purpose is to telling the reader to on how to make something other than make. Yes, to do something or to operate something. Very good. Now, uh, everyone, please uh, read the top of the slide, please, all together. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think is that? All right, the title. And what do you get after reading the title? All right, it's telling you on how to make a homemade banana ice cream. So, the title in procedure text, it's telling you the aim, okay? It contains the aim or goal of making or use something. In this procedure text, what is the aim of the title? Of course, the aim is to make a homemade banana ice cream. Great. Everybody, now, please read the materials all together. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Very good. So, what is this in your opinion? All right. The materials. What else other than materials? Uh, similar words of materials. Very good. Ingredients. What is ingredients in your opinion? All right, the things that you need to make something, okay? In this context, it's the ingredients to make homemade banana ice cream. Uh, what about if you want to operate printers? What do you need there? Of course, a printer. Very good. Now, is there any of you who want to help me to read the steps? Yes, Hannah? Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. Pour. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Hannah. So, what what is the text that Hannah just read, everybody? All right, the steps or the methods, okay, the methods. All right, so what is steps in your opinion? Yes, the ways on how to make a banana ice cream in order, okay? It has to be in order. All right, now, uh, you already know the title, the ingredients, and also the steps. So, these three components are called the structure of procedure tags. Can you explain to me what are the structure of procedure tags? Yes, a title, ingredients, and the steps. What contains inside a title? What do you get there? All right, the aim or the goal. What is ingredients? Mm -hmm, things that you need. Then what about steps? Yes, the ways that arrange in order on how to make or use something very good okay now to uh everybody please read the red words all together please mm -hmm. after that lastly all right very good so these red words are called temporal conjunction temporal conjunction in indonesia is called uh, kata umum yang menerangkan waktu so when you see procedure text, you will see these words, okay, like first, second, mm, so on and so on. Okay, now please read the underlined words all together, everybody. Yes, poor. Again, poor, not poor, okay? Poor. Transfer. All right, very good. So uh, what do you think about the words that you just read? Okay, it's telling you on it's telling you to match the banana, mix in the milk. Okay, very good. So what do you think what kind of words is that? 
Yes, very good, Sharon. Thank you. Kalimat perintah. In English, kalimat perintah. It's called imperative words. Okay, have you got the idea now? Okay, so now everybody, uh, what are the language features of procedure text? Mm -hmm. Temporal conjunction and imperative words. Okay, let's start over. What is the structure of procedure text? Title, ingredients, and steps. And what are the language features of procedure text? Mm -hmm. Temporal conjunction and imperative words. All right, very good, everybody. Uh, okay, who's the master? Very good. Now, I will give you a task and you have to work in pairs to make it easy. You can work with your seatmate. Okay, now uh, I will distribute this worksheet to you. Tristan, can you help me to distribute the paper, please? Okay, thank you very much, Tristan. So, everybody, uh, you only have to get one piece of paper on each table, okay? All right. Have you got your worksheet, everyone? Is there any of you who get two pieces of papers? No? All right. So, let's take a look on your worksheet. Can you see the picture there? Okay. So, the instruction telling you to rearrange the steps, okay? Uh, and... Uh, the picture above it will help you to rearrange the steps, the jumble steps. What is jumble steps, everyone? Okay, langkah yang acak-acakan. So, you have to rearrange it in correct order. So, you have to match the pictures and also the steps. Make sure that the picture and the steps have to be in sync. So, everybody, what will you do for your task? Mm -mm. Rearrange the jumble steps by looking at the pictures. Do you need to rearrange the picture? No, you don't have to. You only have to rearrange the steps. All right, I will give you 10 minutes to do your task. Is there any question first? No? Okay. You can start working now. All right, everybody, time is up. Please submit your work, please. Tristan, can you help me again to collect your work, your friend's worksheet? Thank you. Okay, Tristan, thank you very much. Everybody pay attention, please. Who is the master? All right, very good. So, uh, you already done the task. And very good. I'm really happy with the result. And please give applause for all of us first. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what have you? What do you learn in today's lesson? Yeah, you study about a procedure tax. What is procedure tax in your opinion? Yes, Tristan. Okay. It's a tax that explains the reader on how to make use or operate something very good what else come on yes hannah all right procedure tax has a structure can you mention me what are these structures mm -hmm. the title the ingredients and the steps uh, carol what do you think about ingredients what is ingredients Yes, things that you need to make something or to do something. All right, then what are the language features of uh, procedure text? Yes, imperative words and temporal conjunction. Very good, everybody. Okay. Okay, we still have 10 minutes left. And before that, I will tell you about your homework for the next meeting. All right, so things that you need to do is to make a simple recipe, okay? You have to make a simple recipe and demonstrate, okay? Perform your simple recipe that you already made in front of your class, okay? Sounds exciting, right? So you only have to prepare the things that you already prepared, 
in your home. You don't have to bring heavy stuff because it will get messy in class. Okay, and I also will assess your recipe by uh, seeing your procedure text that you make. To make it easy, when you perform, you have to submit your procedure text first and you can uh, demonstrate your simple recipe in front of your class. Okay, so uh, what, do you, what will you have to do for next meeting? Mm -mm. You make a simple recipe. Uh, what else? And you have to demonstrate in front of the class. And yes, yeah, submit your procedure attacks. Do you need to bring heavy stuff? No. Okay. And do you need to write down your simple recipe? Okay, very good. So far, do you have question regarding your homework? Or maybe for today's lesson? No? Okay, excellent. Very good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, I think that's all for our today's class. Uh, but before we end our class today, let's have a short prayer, shall we? I mean, okay. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm really happy uh, teaching you today and I look forward for your performance in the next meeting. Okay, uh, thank you very much and see you in the next meeting. Bye-bye. <laughs>